Before this video starts, I will just let you know that I'm currently hosting a 200 euro plus Sorry Rivals Champions League tournament for every one of you guys to participate in. It's free to play, scarcity bonus removed. I will link the video in the description about the tournament and everything. I would love to see every one of you guys joining the tournament. Uh, and yeah, let's jump back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video I will show you how to almost guarantee yourself to make profit. Um, I will show examples from some of my friends that are on a very low budget. So if you're brand new to Sorrier or are on a low budget, this video will be very very good for you. And also if you are in the rare divisions or if you are on a higher uh, budget, this will also be extremely extremely good because I personally have an example I want to take from my gallery to show you how to almost guaranteed make profit on Sorer. and of course this isn't financial advice at all although you could argue it is but uh, still and also if you're brand new to Sorer, remember to use an affiliate link if you want to use mine that is much appreciated you get uh, I think you get some dollars 20 dollars or something after buying five cards from the auction market or the instant buy house but yeah without further ado let's jump straight into it and as you can see on the screen right now uh, I have marked Norwich players in red I think do you know what I will use the budget example first I have a friend, uh, if we can find him here, yeah, uh, and he, yeah, he has a budget of $20. He started with $20 and he has uh, currently now uh, bought five players, Ben Gibson, Daniel Bachmann, Ashley Barnes, McLean and also Boria Sainz. If we go to his Sawyer results, uh, we can go to game week 463. He played this team in the lowest division possible. Of course he got put in division 4, but still, that is the division he would have played either way. And we can see here, he got, I think it was 0 0.0020 uh, Ethereum. I think that is $5 or $6, I'm not 100% sure. But still, with no decisives. Um, Ashley Barnes blanking, McLean with a decent AA score, Boria Sainz with a decent AA score, Ben Gibson with a decent AA score, and also Daniel Bachmann with a decent AA score. This is very, very easy to get. And those five card combination here is worth under $20, closer to $15, I would imagine. Uh, and yeah, this just shows that uh, playing your cards in a lower division and just grinding out and also in in-season I would personally buy some in-season cards and just grind it out and uh, he got now um, 30 to 40 percent of the value of these players by just one game week that is incredible for me and imagine if you do this in a bigger scale and that is what I, I have been doing recently and actually it it was like not Often the tips goes one way, but now I've actually learned from my friend and it goes back to me. And therefore I actually bought a Norwich, small Norwich collection. This was right before the start of the new Sorrier because I saw the prize pool in Challenger. And I think it's just incredible, the opportunities there, especially in Challenger. Uh, I don't know about Contender or Champion, but I think Champion is a little bit harder. So I would personally go for Contender or Challenger, uh, depending on what do you know the most in. But me personally, as you can see, I have bought McLean, that was for 25 days ago, for $25, or for 25 euros I mean. I don't think he's worth that much now, uh, or I may be wrong. And then I bought Ashley Barnes, Marcelino Nunes and Jack Stacey, everyone for around the 10 euro mark which I think is very, very, very good. And if we go to my gallery, uh, yeah, I also played and had around the same strategy, but I have Marcelino Nunes uh, and Jack Stacey, so there are differences between the teams. And also Daniel Bachmann. Daniel Bachmann is a goalkeeper I had for a long time. And if we go to Daniel Bachmann's price, we can check that. His price is currently now uh, at around, oh, he has gone up a lot. Why is he gone? Okay, so it's around 80 to 90 dollars or 80 to 90 euros. But just keep in mind, uh, Jack Stacey, 10 euros, McLean, 25 euros, Marcelino Nunes, 10 euros, Ashley Barnes, 10 euros. That will be uh, 80, that will be um, and around 130 euros. This team is around 130 euros. And I think actually, do you know what? We will take ETH to Euro calculator. Calculator. And then we will check how much we have actually earned that game week. If we go to my, um, if we go here, copy paste, and then we take it in here, 
we take we do this and then we do this 25 euros I got 25 euros and the team is worth 130 euros I need to get around 300 points and I need to only get it like four or five times to earn every single penny back and that is something that is incredible to me of course there are risks involved of course if the goalkeeper gets injured therefore I have the backup limited risk but then I of course need to win more and I think this is actually possible to do for the remainder of the season like keep in mind I have only one decisive and Marcelino Nunes didn't do much besides that and if we go back to my friend that has this team right there he can just consistently yield with this and of course if you're on a limited scale the risk will be much lower if you then compare if you play to rare and like I think I don't know but I think his plan will just be to keep on grinding this because <clears throat> let's just check how much he earned with this team in specific uh, and of course injuries is a little concern for him because he doesn't have any backup but the money he win he can of course expand six euro oh my day that is much six euros he won oh, that is a that is a spoiler for the next video uh, I think yeah that will be a spoiler for the next video uh, but yeah um, uh, yeah, we were right. Yeah, so like six euros. This team, let's check uh, how much Daniel Bachmann is worth in limited. Oh, he has gone up a lot. He has gone up a lot. Okay, but there are. My point is, there are a lot of other goalkeepers you can go for. You don't need to go for Daniel Bachmann. Uh, but that is very surprising that he has gone up that much. Uh, but we could go to other goalkeepers you could potentially buy. Andre Hansen is an example. Uh, he is playing for a team that isn't that good. So that is uh, like. Maybe not the best example. Uh, he's going currently for yeah five euros, uh, so you can play him in the contender region. Uh, Eloy Room is another goalkeeper. Keep in mind that his team will most likely get relegated. But I will just go through some goalkeepers that could be interesting for you to pick up. He is currently five euros as well. I would have much rather go gone for uh, Andre Hansen. And another goalkeeper that I really like is. Um, uh, David Marshall. Uh, David Marshall, I really like him actually. David Marshall, uh, let's check his price out now. He has gone up also. The goal, like the goalkeeper seems to go up. 8 euros, I think that is a fair price though. Um, maybe, yeah. But yeah, my point being is that I think now it's so much easier to win rewards. And I want to show you another example. Uh, and I want to show it here on Sora actually. <clears throat> if we go to an all game week here, this was the game week where, yeah, I think, no, no, this, yeah, game week 463, we will take an example there. Uh, and now, if you're watching now and you're wondering, like, what is the strategy? Like, it is to buy cheap players that in limited will be around 1 euro, outfield players, 1 to 2 euros, and in the goalkeeper spot, uh, 5 to 10 euros, and you just need to multiple, multiply that with 10 when it comes to rare. I hope that makes sense. And the way to now do it and purchase the players is to find players that is 100% nailed, will play every single game, unless they get injured, gets injured, and the first game week will be very important for you. You need to win money. And as we can see on the screen right here, 300 points in limited and 300 points in rare. I had it up on the screen before. And remember to play the lowest division possible or not the lowest, but the next lowest, lowest division four. And you could also argue that you could play in division five, but it will be, I think it's not that good compared to division four because uh, you need to always keep in mind that you need to find out how many participants there are in each division, each when it comes to division one, two, three, four, or five, and compare it to how many of the rewards there are. And let's say in one division, I need to show you the example now. Uh, if we go to uh, Challenger here, and then we go to in season here, we can see that 307 points that got me uh, uh, a 33, 33rd place. Uh, and if we go to view prize pool, top 50 gets reward. And how many participants are there? 196. And keep in mind, some of these teams are throwaway lineups because it's a low division. Some just wants to put the team, and in a blue moon, they would have hit something. But if we go to the view leaderboard, we can see that in division four, uh, for example, we can see that to actually get the reward here, 288 points. That is incredible. That is so easy. You should be managing to do that consistently. Uh, and like that is something you also need to look at 
uh, how many there actually are participating and also how much rewards that are actually given out in terms of money. And uh, one example, and uh, if we go to the upcoming game week here, and keep in mind these numbers aren't like 100% uh, because of course I'm filming this way before the next uh, weekend, uh, like the, when the weekend takes place. But this is just an example. Uh, if we go to, we can actually use, yeah, we can use in season as an example. Let's take Division 3. Now, of course, there are one whole week until this game week will kick off, but we can still use that, use it as, as an example. View prize pool, 120 wins cards in, oh, that is much, in Challenger in season rare. Uh, and there are only nine participating. And if you go there now to division four, and then there are eight participating, and a prize pool of top 50. Then now, if the game week were to start in, let's say, one hour, you would see that it is much better to play Challenger in season division three, because there are more rewards and just one more participant. Like there are almost twice or more than twice uh, rewards given out, and there are less uh, or one more participating. Okay, this isn't the best example, I get it, because there is a, a long time until the game kicks off, but that is something I would personally do, try to find the best divisions to play in, uh, and I hope that, that made sense. And that is what I would be doing, a almost guaranteed profit, uh, that you can just yield as much as possible to the end of the season, and also a strategy that will be very, very good for uh, the next season. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, that is what I would be doing right now if I were new to Sorrier, and uh, I am also doing it now. This is a side project for me, uh, and um, if we go to Rare and then we go to uh, Norwich, I have done it with Norwich because I uh, I saw it worked uh, good for my mate, and he uh, also gave me uh, some suggestions when it comes to very, very low valuable players uh, that are actually very cheap. So I went out there and bought these four guys and currently they have almost earned every single penny back just after one game week. Of course, you need to keep in mind that the goalkeepers are more expensive, so you need to win more, but still it gives me a lot of confidence in this strategy in specific. And I'm actually planning to do this on another team, for example, I don't know, but... Um, and of course, don't pick Norwich. Or if you want, you can pick Norwich, but pick whatever team you would like. Like, this isn't a, a video just because Norwich are uh, so... there are so many cheap and good players from Norwich, but this is just a general example. Uh, and, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do you have any questions regarding this strategy? And do you think this is clickbait? Can you actually guarantee the making profit on Sorrier? I don't think you are that far away from this strategy, unless Sorrier changed something, and unless your every single player gets injured or they underperform insanely. Uh, but yeah, my name has of course been Osal and I will of course catch you in the next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.